not evil lurks in the hearts of men. <laughs> the shadow knows. Ladies and gentlemen, the curtain is about to go up on another of the Shadow's exciting adventures. But first, I want to tell you more about that sensational new tire that is making its appearance on highways all over the nation, the new Goodrich Safety Silver Town with Lifesaver Tread. Maybe you've already seen it, but whether you've seen it or not, this tire is something brand new, a new kind of tire. The tread is wider and flatter, with never-ending spiral bars. And those spiral bars act like a battery of windshield wipers. They sweep the water right and left, force it out through the deep drainage grooves. Thus, this amazing tread actually gives the tire a drier, safer surface for the rubber to grip. No wonder this new Silvertown will stop you quicker, safer on a wet pavement than you've ever stopped before. Remember, Silvertowns below mean safety above. Put this life-saving tire on your car now. The shadow, Lamont Cranston, a man of wealth, a student of science, and a master of other people's minds, devotes his life to righting wrongs, protecting the innocent, and punishing the guilty. Cranston is known to the underworld as the shadow. Never seen, only heard, his true identity is known only to his constant friend and aide, Margot Lane. Today's story, Revenge on the Shadow. Mike Matthews talking. Hello, Mike. This is Slick Scarpel. Oh, yeah? What do you want? Okay, start talking. Now, listen, Mike. I know you and I haven't been on the best of terms, but there's something we've got to talk over. Yeah, what? We've got to do something about this guy who calls himself the Shadow. Oh, that's different. Well, what's the dope? Come to my place, the Club Monte Carlo, midnight tonight. We'll talk it over. Okay, I'll be there. Hello? Hello, Dutch. This is Slick Scarpel. Why, you've got a nerve calling me after your mob tried to chisel in on my territory. Hello, Dutch. I'm sorry about that. Yeah? Listen, Dutch. We've got to call a truce. What for? We've got to get together to protect ourselves. Against what? The shadow. Oh. Oh, that's different. Now, listen. Big Mike Matthews is coming to my place midnight tonight to talk it over. Can you be there? Yeah. You bet I'll be there. Oh, say, that's funny. Isn't that big Mike Matthews coming in the door? It looks like him. I've seen his picture in the papers. But what's so unusual about that? Oh, nothing much, I guess. But this club is owned by Slick Scarpel, and I always understood that Mike and Slick were deadly enemies. Well, it's none of our business. No, Take your best, ladies and gentlemen. Lamont, <coughs> are those the three men you told me about? Yes, Margot. They look like gangsters, all right. They are, and usually mortal enemies, but tonight it looks very much as if they're banding together. But I wonder why. I imagine because they're afraid of me. Of you? Then why do you come here and expose They're yourself? They're only afraid of me as the shadow. They do not know Lamont Cranston. Oh, who, who are they? Slick Scarpel, Dutch Broder, and Big Mike Matthews. Three of the human vermin who've been slowly throttling this city, and right now they're probably trying to digest a piece of bad news that I had a hand in. Pretty black and even. Now listen, Mike. I'm on the level about this meeting, and you'd better play square too. Do you think I'd walk into your place alone like this if I wasn't, Scarpel? We've got to do something about this shadow. Right. Say, Dutch, I heard your boys ran into a little trouble today, huh? A little trouble? Them cops picked up five of my boys today. Caught them with a hot load of furs worth 15 grand. I know where they got the tip from, too. Now, we gotta do something. That's all that shadow was hey, reckless. Hey, not so loud. Well, 
These are society people out here. Okay. Take it easy now. Come on. In the office. Well. Okay, Dutch. Now we can talk. You got any ideas? Listen, Slick, how can you think of a way to get a guy which you don't know who he is? Well, the first thing we got to do is lay off each other. Team up. Get the shadow and get him right. If it's dough that's needed, I'll add ten grand to the kitty. But dough isn't going to help us find the shadow. No, and nothing else will. Unless we can figure a way to get him to come to us. <laughs> oh, yeah? Better guys than you have tried to do that, and where are they? Never mind. I think I got a plan, and it's a honey. So what? Uh, this is what. We'll put the snatch on the mayor. What? That ought to uh, bring Mr. Shadow trotting right over to the rescue. What? Kidnap Mayor Collins? Why, that's playing with dynamite. Uh, yeah, isn't? yeah. But maybe dynamite's the only thing that'll do us any good. I'll phone the mayor and I'll tell him I want to uh, give him the inside on where Big Mike gets his dope supply. Squeal on me, why uh, you... Now, wait a minute. I didn't say I would tell him. I just say I'm going to tell him. What do you mean? I'll make a day to see the mayor late at night, see? Tell him I'm afraid someone might recognize me and squeal. The mayor will see me, and he'll be alone. Oh. Hey, that's neat. But if we get the mayor, then what? How are you going about getting the shadow on his trail? I've got that end of it all figured out. The shadow's got a lot of uh, hypnotism stuff. Okay. We'll beat him at his own racket. Both of you guys have done business with Vandange, the Hindu. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you sold him some hot pearls on last week, didn't you, Dutch? Yeah, and for the last time, too. That Hindu gives me the creeps. When he looks at you, it makes you feel like there was something behind you he was really seeing. That's it. Hypnotism stuff. And Angie shot me once. <laughs> he'll beat the shadow with his own game. We'll promise him those Canterbury pearls if he'll make the shadow show himself so we can plug him. And Angie will do everything and anything for pearls. He's nuts for them. Okay, if you say so, Slick, but me, I'm plenty scared of that, but thank you. Well, Dutch, maybe you'd rather have it out with the shadow by yourself. Eh, nix on that. But if we got to take our choice, I'd sooner take the hinder. If he gets the poils, he'll be on our side. Well, then it's all set, boys. I'll go see Vandange and make an appointment with the mayor tomorrow night in his office when he is alone. Just leave it to me and Vandange. <laughs> an appointment with you, Mayor Collins. Uh, yes, uh, about Big Mike Matthews? That's right. Uh, what's the information you have to give me? Uh, you'll have to come along with me if you want to get the lowdown on Big Mike. Well, it so happens I got word about an hour ago that Commissioner Weston expects to arrest him tonight. Arrest Big Mike? Yes. So you see, I'm hardly in need of any information concerning him now. However, Listen, you it... stop, Gavin. I got a gun here. What good will that do you? Plenty good if you start any trouble. You're coming with me. You can't get away with this. The minute we reach the street, I merely have to raise my voice and the... I know all that. But when we reach the street, you're not going to be able to yell. What do you mean? You'll see. Banangi, come on in. Give him the works. Uh, so you have an accomplice. Ah, his honor, the mayor. Who are you? Why do you stand there and stare at me like... You, like... my friend, will stare at me. Yeah, that is right. No, no, I... Look into my eyes. No. Deeper. Deeper, no. you are becoming the slave of the triad of the angels. No. Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. You are our slave. No. After I release you from this hypnotic spell in which I am binding you, you will remember nothing. Nothing. Yes. Do you hear me? Answer. Yes, Master. I do, as you say. You will do even as I think, slave. Yes, master. I will do even as you think. Okay, Vatangi? Yes, Mr. Scarpelli. The mayor is now the slave of the master of Vatangi. He will go and do as I order him. Okay. Let's take him to the Club Monte Carlo. We've got our bait. Now we have to wait for the shadow to bite. <laughs> and when he does... I, Vadange, will conquer him. Extra, extra, Mayor Collins kidnap. Read all about it. Mayor Collins kidnap. Extra, extra. Just a moment. 
Comet. Oh, good morning, Lamont. Good morning, Margaret. Come on in. You heard about Mayor Collins? Yes, isn't it horrible? What do you suppose could have happened to him? I've got a hunch this is the work of Slick Scarpell and company, and I'm going to find out. In the meantime, they're coming. Something I want you to do, Margot. Yes, Lamont, what? You have to be very careful and do exactly as I say. Go to the Club Monte Carlo on Hemlock Street, where we were the other night. Yes, and then? Keep watch outside. If you see anything that looks at all suspicious, get in touch with me. Be careful to keep out of sight and don't, under any conditions, go inside that house. All right, Lamont, I understand. Remember, keep out of sight and don't go inside that house. <laughs> Listen, Slick, I just heard Big Mike and four of his gang was picked up last night. Yeah, hauling dope? Yeah, that's too bad. It means 20 years. And there's no way to beat that dope rap. Now we gotta get the shadow. Where's Hodungi and the mayor? Upstairs. Say, Slick, hmm? yeah? Look here out the window a minute. Yeah, what? See that dame standing in the doorway over there? Yeah, what about her? She's been hanging around out there most of the day. Yeah? That's kind of funny. Yeah. Hey, Hodungi. Come here a minute. Funny about Big Mike being picked up like that just when we were all set to get the shadow. You call huh? for me? What do you want? Verangi, take a look at that girl standing in the doorway over there. That says she's been hanging around all day. You ever seen her before? Mm, no. What difference does it make whether or not he knows her or not? We are playing with dangerous game, Mr. Scarpell. It is possible she has been sent to watch us. I can't take any risk, Dutch. You're telling me. Supposing you go out and talk to her, Verangi. Dutch and I can't be seen until we get this shadow business settled. All right. I will go and question the girl. Watch your step, Anangi. Don't worry about me. I have my own way of getting information. Ah, there she is, over there. Oh, young lady. Yes? Have you seen a little lad of about eight years old wearing a brown sweater? I sent him off to the corner about an hour ago. Why, no, I, I haven't seen him. I, I'm just passing by myself. Why, why do you stare at me like that? Possibly you are tired and would like to step inside and sit down for a moment. No, I'm not tired. I, I, I mustn't. He said I mustn't go into that house. That is right. Stare at me no. into my eyes. Deeper, oh. deeper. Oh. I am the voice of the holy triad of Brahma, Vishnu, and Siva. You will do my bidding. Yes. Follow me into this house. Yes, Master. I follow. Ladies and gentlemen, as we leave the shadow for just a moment, it looks like trouble ahead. But think of the trouble you may be headed for if a skid throws your car out of control. Because when tires lose their grip on a wet, slippery road, who knows what may happen? The shadow knows. Beware. Thousands are killed or injured every year by runaway cars sliding, spinning crazily over glistening pavements. Motorists, I've already told you that the new Goodrich Safety Silvertown will stop you quicker safer in a wet road emergency than you've ever stopped before. But you don't need to take my word for it. Here is the proof from an impartial source. Exhaustive road tests of both regular and premium priced tires of America's six largest tire manufacturers were made by the nation's largest independent testing laboratory, Pittsburgh Testing Laboratory, noted all over the country for its research independence. And here's what they found. I quote from the report of Pittsburgh Testing Laboratory. Quote, the new Goodrich Silvertown with Lifesaver Tread gave greater skid resistance than any other tire tested, including tires listed at from 40% to 70% higher in price. The Goodrich Silvertown gave more non-skid mileage than any other tire tested in its own price range, averaged 19.1% more mileage before the tires wore smooth. Unquote. So just think what you get in this new kind of tire. The greatest skid protection ever offered. The famous blowout protection of the Goodrich Golden Ply. 19.1% more mileage, which is the same as saying you'll get every sixth mile free. And all at no extra cost. That's why it will pay you to make your next tires Goodrich Safety Silvertown. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. 
Yeah, I've been working on it ten minutes for Dengue. I can't stand no more of it. Quiet, Dutch. Slave. Yes? What was your name? My name? Who told you not to enter this house? Who told me? Same old answers for Dengue. Why won't she talk? Oh, she has succumbed too far to my spell. Her mind is a blank. Either that or someone else has control over her mind. You mean the shadow? Possibly. But we shall find out if it is the shadow. You take her upstairs and wait there for my father commands. Take her, Dutch. I'll stay here with Badangi. Okay, Slip. Come along, you. Uh, Go with him. Yes, Master. Badangi, if she was sent by the shadow, then... Then she shall serve as additional bait to lure him into our trap. Now I am ready to talk to him. Talk to him? How are you going to do that? You don't know who he is? I do not have to know who he is. I will send out thought waves. Eh? Well, how do you do that? Oh, I see you are unfamiliar with the higher branches of Hindu mysticism, my friend. To the initiated, it is quite possible for mind to talk to mind regardless of distance. <laughs> Thus, space becomes non-existent. Yeah, you give me the creeps. I don't know how you do it. Oh, you, an infidel, can never know. Attend to matters in which you are proficient. Procure for me the Canterbury pearls. I will do the rest. We'll get the pearls for you, just like we said the night. Good. Now I will send out my thought waves. The shadow must be receptive to be able to do what it does. Our minds will commune. Now leave the room. I must concentrate. Okay. Now we shall see if this girl is under control of the shadow. If she is, then his own power of subjecting people to his will shall be his downfall. Shadow. Shadow. I call upon you in the name of the triad who are all powerful, Brahma, Vishnu, and Siva. Shadow. I command you to come to me in thought. It is I, Vadange. Who commands the shadow by the secret and all-powerful method of thought transmission? It is I, Vadange, disciple of the great yoga of India and the temples of Brahma, Vishnu, and Siva. Can you hear me, shadow? Yes, Vadange. I hear you. Listen carefully, shadow. This delicate thread of thought communication is easily broken. I am listening. What do you want? You will come to me, Shadow, if you are interested in Mayor Collins. So, the abduction of Mayor Collins was your work for Dungy. I warn you, release him. So, Shadow, you are interested in Mayor Collins. Possibly you are also interested... In a certain girl. A certain girl, Badangi? Yes. Read my mind, Shadow. I will make it crystal clear for you. She is pure, my friend. Pure as a lovely pearl. Read my mind. What do you see? I see the names of Slick Scarpel and Dutch Broder. They are the ones who are behind the kidnapping of Mayor Collins. You read well, Shadow. And the girl, do you know her? The girl? The image of her is pictured upon my brain, Shadow. Do you know her? The picture of the girl slowly becomes visible to my mind's eyes. I... Ah, then you do know her. Yes. I have her, Shadow. A prisoner of my hypnotic power. I know where you are, and I'm coming to visit you. You've done a foolish thing, Vadangi, in telling me these things. And you, Shadow, have done a foolish thing in accepting the challenge of the great Vadangi. I await you, Shadow. You shall not wait in vain, Vadangi. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Slick, Vadangi's been upstairs half an hour now. Should we see if he's all right? Nah, better not disturb him. 
He said he'd be down before the shadow got here. Well, I wonder when the shadow's coming. I'm not even sure he'll show up at all. Maybe Vadangi scared him off. But keep your hands on that tommy gun, just in case. Well, I'd be plenty happy if I knew the shadow had took a run out powder. I say, may. Maybe he's here now and we don't know it. Wonder what his voice sounds like. Possibly it sounds like this, what? Dutch. A shadow. He's here. Yes, here in the shadows. Trying to throw a scare into us with that stuff, eh? Well, Shadow, we don't scare. I'm sure you don't. It must take brave men to murder all the defenseless people you two have. Yes, Shadow, we bump plenty. And we're going to give it to you, too. Let him have it, Dutch. Where are you, Shadow? Speak up. Over here, Dutch. You can't hit me, but I'm right over here. Ah, Dutch! You're a double-crossing around you! That must be you got... But the shadow's voice had come from you, Slick. I... A little ventriloquism, Dutch. And you'll hang for killing Slick Scarpel. Now, where are you? Where are you? Right behind you, Dutch. Where are you? Oh. Blow on the head will take care of you for an hour or so, Dutch Broder. Now for Vendange. <laughs> Slick, Dutch, what is the matter? Where is it? Oh, fools, what have you done to each other? Victory was in our grasp, and now you... There is a presence here. Is it you, Shadow? Very clever, my friend. But perhaps you are not so... <laughs> so it is you. Yes, Vendangi. You are clever, Shadow. But perhaps not so clever as I. Vendangi, I've come for Mayor Collins and the girl. Can you think I, Vendangi, will give them to you just like that? They are both under my hypnotic spell... They are my slaves. I'll have no trouble breaking the hold you have over them, because I know your strength, Vadangi. My strength is greater. Greater? You, the dog of an infidel, stronger than I, a true disciple. I, who have made the pilgrimage to the tomb of Genghis, the great Khan. Fool! Also remember, my friend, that I am the first to gain control of the girl's mind. Your influence cannot enter until mine has left. Vadangi, I'm going to strip you of all your powers. Your threats are useless, Shadow. I command the girl to appear. In just a moment, she will enter by that door. She, who is pure as a pearl, will perform a deed at my command. A deed which will finish the work I set out to do. A deed which will bring madness to her for the rest of her life. You said to me, Master. Margot. Oh, she is the girl, Shadow. Yes, Madame. But she is no longer your friend. She is my slave. I know what you've done to her. A simple trick and a simple one to remedy. After I've disposed of you. Slave. Pick up that machine gun. Yes, Master. Uh, stop her if you can, Shadow. But Dange, the powers of Brahma, Vishnu, and Siva were never intended for evil. Slave, point the gun at the Shadow. He is here in this room, and I will you to see him. His mind is in the same hypnotic plane as yours. I will you to see him. Yes, Master. Margo, don't point the gun at me. You see him now, Slave? Yes, I see him. Then, Margo, recognize me. You know me. I know you. Margot, you won't shoot me. No, I won't shoot Stop you. Stop pointing the gun at me, Margot. I can't. Slave, I command you to pull the trigger. Margot, you will not pull the trigger. Fight for Dangi's spell. Fight it, Margot. Slave, in the name of the terrible Vashtar, destroy this infidel dog. Pull the trigger. Margot, Vashtar is evil and has no glory. I command you. Put down the gun. Slave, never again will you look to the east. I command you to shoot. Master. Master. Mayor Collins. Mayor Collins, stay outside. Master, Master, where are you? I feel your spirit leaving me. Badangi, your power is slipping away from you. Shadow, never before have I used the forbidden chant of Genghis the Great Khan. You are strong, Shadow, but no one is stronger than the chant. <laughs> Margo, Margo, the chant of Genghis is also evil. You must fight, Margo. Fight. I am trying. I am, I am. <laughs> Lamont! Lamont! Oh. Oh. What happened? That, that man in the street. I mustn't enter the house. Three shots. 
Badangi, three shots. It was Lamont I saw. The gun. Oh, Lamont, I've killed him. No, Margot, no, I'm here. Oh, Lamont, oh, my dear. Take it easy. <laughs> but I, I thought Vadangi had made me kill no, you. No, Margot, it was Vadangi who was killed. Oh, then, then I killed Vadangi. No, Murdered no, him. no, Margot. Mayor Collins shot Vadangi. Oh, Mayor Collins? Yes, when I broke Vadangi's power, his control over Mayor Collins was ended, oh. leaving only hysterical hate. Mayor Collins picked up the other gun and shot Vadangi. Oh, but where is the mayor? Is he hurt? The strain was too much for both of you. You both fainted. The mayor is sleeping in the next room. When he woke, he won't remember anything that happened from the time he awake was kidnapped. Mayor Collins is not to blame. The distortion of his mind and its results were of Vadangi's own doing. I must call Commissioner Weston. Tell him to come here. But what are you going to tell him? The message you receive from the shadow is this. Dutch Broder murdered both Slick Scarpell and Vadangi the Hindu, his accomplices. Commissioner Weston will find Broder unconscious and Mayor Collins asleep and unhurt. This attempted revenge on the shadow has failed, as must fail every scheme to overthrow those who administer justice. No matter how cunning the plot, how clever the criminal. You have been listening to a dramatized version of one of the many copyrighted stories which appear in the Shadow magazine, now on sale at your local newsstand. <laughs> the weed of crime bears bitter fruit. Crime does not pay. The shadow knows. <laughs> characters and all the places named are fictitious. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. <laughs>